Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. Guys, it's election day. Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm. Everybody's running to the polls. The midterms have finally arrived. We have been talking about the red wave for months now. We've been talking about midterm season. So I guess this season is kind of coming to a close. Today, tomorrow, however long it takes them to count the damn ballots, we will see. And then, guys, it's Christmas. Christmas season. So exciting. Thanksgiving. Stop. Okay. Scheller said I need to not forget about Thanksgiving. I know. I know. Everybody's really triggered about my love for Christmas and how fast I'm jumping on Christmas stuff. I will give you all time to eat your turkey. Do not worry. And actually, if you need help with your turkey this season, Cinch has you covered. Cinch is a propane grill tank home delivery service that delivers propane tanks directly to your door. And delivery is completely contactless, so you don't have to be home to receive the delivery. And you can track the order on the Cinch app from anywhere. If you're looking to exchange a tank, Cinch handles that whole process for you. So you don't have to go to the hardware store or gas station. You can also exchange any brand of tank as long as it is standard grill size. You choose your delivery date and Cinch handles the rest. This is a limited time offer and you must live within a Cinch service area to redeem it. Visit cinch.com slash offer for more details. Again, that is cinch.com, C-Y-N-C-H.com, promo code Cooper at checkout. Now, I personally don't really like turkey, so maybe I can use Cinch to deep fry my ham this year. I'll let you guys know how it goes. But we can't jump the gun because as of today, it is still midterm season. And I just want to say that regardless of what happens at the polls tonight, I sense a cultural shift and I see it in my own comment section. I see it online. People are waking up. They're drawing these lines in the sand. They're realizing that things don't make sense. They're coming back to common sense. I love to see it. So regardless of what happens, just know that we at least have that in our favor. We are the, oh, ow. I was about to be really dramatic and be like, we are the revolution. We're, cr cr we're crusading. Instead, I'm gonna have a bruise on my hand. <laughs> Just know I'm very excited, guys. But before we get into this story, make sure that you like this video. Subscribe to this channel if you've not already. Ring that notification bell. And of course, you can go to dailywire.com slash Brett to check out my merch collection. This is not really a story today, rather a compilation of some cringe because I think everybody's a little on edge today. It's tense. You're trying to figure out when you're going to go to the polls. It's just a lot's going on. So I wanted us all to have a bit of election humor because politicians obviously are very eager to get people to the polls, especially the younger generation. And these campaigns and activists have started using some unique tactics to reach this target. And apparently the only tactic they've come up with is TikTok. And I really hope it's not working because this is terrible, terrible marketing. And knowing Gen Z, I feel like we can sniff out what is cringe, what is actually genuine and authentic, and what is like corporate trying to be cool. And so because I think we all deserve to laugh a little bit today, we're gonna watch all of them. And I apologize in advance. We're gonna start off strong today with Obama and an OGBY8. Obama's in a lot of these. He even did a campaign speech the other day in Georgia where he said, get off your phones, give TikTok a rest and, and go to the polls. And then suddenly he's literally owning my For You page. Like, Obama, you get off TikTok, please, for my own sanity. Anyway, here's the video. I'm a 41 year old on TikTok and I talk about OBGY and stuff. And sometimes the commenters, they say, okay, boomer. And I'm like, definitely not a, no, a boomer. No, look, look at this gray hair. I do qualify as a boomer, but- You've boomed. Here's the thing that people need to remember. There are 8 million young people who are gonna be newly eligible to vote in this election. We can reinstitute Roe versus Wade <laughs> as law of the land, despite what the Supreme Court did. So you're saying, listen to your elders. Go ahead, go to IWillVote.com, link in my bio, and make a plan to vote today. You don't qualify as an elder, but I do. That's why I love <laughs> that was not funny. At least they were sort of self-aware in the beginning where they were like, people call us, you know, boomers and say, okay, boomer. Yeah, it's because you are. Here's another one. This is uh, Gretchen Whitmer. This one really takes the cake because while Michigan is struggling, Gretchen is dancing. Oh, you go in, uh, then you see you're the old man. I might be, but you never see me broken. People doing what they can just cope I think those might be her daughters. I really don't know. But Gretchen, nobody wants to see you dance at all. Somebody said, why do these people think that they're celebrities? Somebody replied and said, because they get paid about as much as celebrities with the insider training, the money laundering, etc., The corporate buyouts, all that fun stuff. Another person said, now I'm going to vote for Republican twice as hard. Yeah, anything to get her out. Kerry Washington, who is actually a celebrity, got involved and she's helping Stacey Abrams in Georgia campaign. Everybody loves Stacey Abrams. A lot of people are doing this trend. You're going to notice a uh, commonality here ain't got the memory i smoked it all the way a 346 still got hood with the stain a mostly try to record then hit hood for the day ay. i don't want to vote for stacy abrams and i'm so glad i don't live in georgia so she is not even on my ballot thank god all of the comments on that one were like oh my god yes queen my favorite stacy's gonna save us all what has she ever done other than claim that the election was stolen from her and that she is the true governor of georgia Absolutely nothing. you are not 
at all. A man named Tim Ryan in Ohio who is running against J.D. Vance to be a senator in Ohio also had his own take on this trend. This is with his Ain't social media person. I smoked all the way, ay. 346, still got hood with the stain, ay. Mostly tried to record, then hit hood for the day, ay. At least he's acknowledging that he is not the one making the TikToks, that there are some Gen Zer behind the camera that they have obviously hired to be like, make me look cool, make me go viral. And the kid's probably like, I, mm, you can't really just make something go viral. And the guy's just like already dancing. It's so weird. Another one, Bill Nye the Science Guy is not running, but is a huge progressive activist now. He's obviously talking about climate change. Where you going? Uh, then you see you're the old man. I might be in, but you never see me broken. People doing what they can just coping. Some lovely dancing you have there, Bill. We're just gonna keep on moving through these. This is Katie Porter in California. She did this one with Gavin Newsom. Hmm, funny. Yes, but not funny, ha ha. Funny, weird. Especially with this one, I'm just sitting here thinking about Gavin Newsom and his weird slicked back hair, you know, leaving the podium after giving a speech and he has a social media team being like, you gotta do a TikTok trend, you gotta do a TikTok. It's so strange, it's so contrived. They are kind of fooling people because everybody in the comments are like, oh my God, blue heart, vote blue. This is so amazing, yay democracy, you're so cool. I mean, it's just so cringe. And it's cringe because they obviously are not TikTok stars. This is not somebody that is running for Congress that happened to have like a viral video on TikTok and is now leveraging it. These are elected officials being like, I'm going to make something go viral. This isn't your average everyday cringe. This is advanced cringe and are trying to get into gen z's mind because they're all living on our for you pages while offering nothing of substance not telling us at anything about their platform or their policy it's just ridiculous here's another one. Oh, this is beto okay i've reacted to this one on a tiktok but i wanted this to permanently live in a comment section video beto did this tiktok trend the same little dancey one with a fan So bad. This video made me actually listen to the lyrics of the song with like the big booty and hips come get in my car and Beto's like doing a little come hither look. Uh, uh. Let's do a little seductive dance about abortion. No, let's not Beto. Let's really not. But wait, there's more. This is Kamala with TikTok Chris. He's the viral one who delivers coffee to people. He used to be in that really famous relationship and then they broke up and all that stuff. If you're on TikTok, you know who he is. I'm lastly on a lighthearted note. This, Can you yes, tell us happened? your coffee order? Oh, yes. Um, soy latte. A soy latte. <laughs> okay. Hey, Chris. How's hey. Hi. I brought you both coffee. Have you voted? Yes. Did you get all your friends to go to IWillVote.com so course. they know how and where and when to vote? Yes. Yes. Of course I did. Oh, Here you guys you, go. Chris. Cheers. Cheers. That makes me never want to drink coffee ever again. Well, that's a lie. I have one right here. I'm going to drink it later. But in the moment, it makes me not want to ever drink coffee again. All of this is basically the embodiment of the hello fellow kids scene from 30 Rock. That whole meme that literally is what we just saw. How do you do fellow kids? Every single video. Somebody replied and said the saddest part is them thinking that this cringe fest will somehow encourage people to vote for them. If it does, then we're in even bigger trouble. And somebody replied and said exactly. When I consider that people might actually be influenced by this, I realize that I should go live in the wilderness as a recluse with my own normal thoughts. Literally me every single day. After doing the show, I just like need to go sit in a hole. Somebody else said, this took years off my life. Another person said, they got cheating on their side so they don't give a shit about how stupid they look. Very valid. But also, on a positive note for us, they do seem very desperate. Which could be a good thing. I don't know. Now, last but not least, we have actor Manny Patinkin. He's an activist now. You might know him from Homeland. He's won many Tony Awards. He was in The Princess Bride. And this one might actually be my favorite. It's only five seconds long, but if I stopped it, no. I just can't stop watching it. And it just keeps going. You could leave it on a loop. It's like I'm being hypnotized. This is only one of their many voting videos. There's also a video where Mandy is half asleep and somebody comes up and opens his mouth and pulls a piece of paper out of it that says, go vote. It's like very weird. Somebody replied and said, I like you a lot. I've always liked you, but I have to be honest, this is terrifying. I agree. Somebody said, the only good instance of celebrities urging us to vote is Mandy Patinkin and Catherine Grody going all grandma and grandpa accidentally ate my edibles. I mean, it's absolutely absurd. 
But I respect the hustle. I respect them trying to get the fellow kids and youths to vote. I actually duetted this one on TikTok and had a response to it, but I went back to pull comments from the original TikTok video this morning and they deleted it. And I should have taken screenshots yesterday because that video got on the wrong side of TikTok for them. It was all people being like, thank you, I will go vote red. Thank you, I will be voting red all the way down. And they were freaking out and they were like, what? No, this is not the right audience. So they deleted it and apparently they did not like it. But I guess that's a positive thing for us. And I'm glad that this video will forever live on comment section and on Twitter because it deserves to be seen. We are at a point in 2022 where they are so desperate to get people to the polls to vote blue that they are waving their arms with vote painted all over it. Anyway, guys, that is your election compilation for today. I'm hoping things go well. We will see what happens in the morning. Hopefully no natural disasters that have ruined a bunch of ballots or something like that happened. I have no idea. We'll check back in tomorrow. I'm sure that there will be a lot of tweets and comments for us to review. Fingers are crossed. Okay, that was fun. And those people are crazy. If you want to see more videos like that, make sure you subscribe to this channel and like that video. And if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram at I'm Brett Cooper.